Special, what card would you like to take? Special has requested to pick our first, um, first card of this draft with one of their community rewards. But they have half the time. Bum bum bum, hurry. Pack leader seems the obvious choice, right? I mean, it's your draft. We can draft whatever you want to draft. Do it. Okay, we're doing it. So we're going to be playing green for sure. <gasps> my first teleportation circle. It's the last thing on my checklist that I haven't gotten to play with. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh my God. We're going to do it. Okay. Green, white, life gain, ETB effects. Let's fucking go. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Oh my God. And we got a prosperous innkeeper. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. <sighs> breathe. Breathe. <sighs> Zen, let's not punt this away. Prosperous Innkeeper, I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna do this. Oh, we're, we're gonna do the thing. Um, you know, this has an ETB effect. I'm kind of about it. You know, it, it, it fills my curve. It kills important cards. It ETBs well. And, you know... This ETBs well. Oh man, this is so good. Pegasus does as well. But I think this might be a little cuter. Inspiring Bard does, but I think it's a worse card on its own. And if we don't draw the teleportation circle, Bard plays better with Wolf. That's maybe true. And it's a better ETB, I guess. Okay, I mean, I think Pegasus is the correct choice as far as four drops, but ideally we're deep into the life gain deck and I like that this is the life gain card. Okay, Shepard is a key piece of the life gain deck or do we take the much needed removal? I mean, we already have premium plus teleportation circle counts as a uh, life gain trigger, right? Because it makes all of our one-time things into life gain. Shepard, should none of these will wheel because Shepard's good in any deck, even if you're not in the life gain deck, but... I'm gonna take this anyway, just because we have a solid amount of removal already. Uh, I'll take the ally. Second uh, gruel card there is pretty interesting. Little curved topper with a devoted paladin. This deck is way open. I'm just gonna take this so that way, we, you know, somebody's not happy. I don't hate compelled duel. I can't believe I finally got a teleportation circle! Yes! Yes! Come on! Let's go! So excited! No green to speak of. So we could take the Loyal Warhound, which is not a bad card. It's got a nice little ETB as well. A, you know, possible ETB. Plays really well with Pack Leader. Or we could take the You Hear Something on the Watch, which... I'm gonna take the, the the rare here. Are you kidding right now? Did is this um what? <laughs> oh my gosh, what a huge raid! Holy smokes! Okay, now oh wait, wait, we have innkeeper and unicorn, which is tough. I mean, we definitely take the innkeeper, but we really need some more of these life gain things. Oh my gosh, say hi and tell us what you do. Welcome, welcome Raiders. We are currently just starting um, a draft. We have a teleportation circle, which is you know something I'm pretty excited about. <laughs> welcome to the channel, guys. For those of you guys who, um, if it's your first time here, which I'm sure it is for most of you, I am a full-time magic content creator. I do some variety on the side, but yeah, welcome guys. Thank you guys so very much for being here. I do appreciate it. I, uh, I hope you guys had a great stream. My, I mean, a shout out's kind of irrelevant. I can't imagine anybody doesn't know um, <laughs> who Day9 is. Huge, huge personality in the magic community. Owlbear does have a great ETB. So does this Ranger. I'm kind of just all about these ETBs on the circle of protection because I just really want to do it. 
All right, so now if we take Shepard here, we've got all of the life gain triggers with none of the life gain payoffs, but we seem open. So I feel like we could get hooked up with a, a nice cleric class um, or something along those lines. You know, I'm gonna take this potion. Normally I wouldn't, but it's got a good ETB. We have plenty of life gain triggers and two drops. I'm gonna take the plate armor here. I think that's a pretty good card. Duck is angry. Thank you for the five gifted subs, hun. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I mean, this is a pretty medium three drop. I think I'd rather spec on an Evolving Wilds for a possible splash. Okay, we wield the You Hear Something on the Watch, which is nice. Um, yeah, so if you guys, like I said, if it's your first time here, um, I've been streaming magic content for the last three or four years. Um, you might've seen me in Game Nights is a, is a thing I did. Uh, I competed at the first Mythic Invitational. That was actually the first time I met Day 9. Yep, I am also on Magic Mics. I uh, was on Tempo Storm. I was one of the first players to be picked up by Tempo Storm for a while, so that was an esportsy thing if you guys follow any of that stuff. But yeah, welcome. I'm so excited to have you guys. Lots uh lots going on. Wow. What is going on? Normally you cannot find innkeepers to save a deck. Goodness gracious. I don't even like want any of it. <laughs> We're on the free to play account, so we don't care about rare drafting. Why, why do we have three innkeepers? This is, yeah, only innkeepers, no unicorns, which is the exact opposite of normal. Um, and the weird thing is like the, the shepherds are wheeling. So, so the deck is open. We're just not getting payoffs, only getting, uh, hey, there's nothing in the deck that I want is the problem. I don't know. Okay. So because we have no good synergy, guys, we just need to, um, you know, we have no three drops, minimal three drops. So maybe that's a reason why we take the Gargoyle instead of the Dungeoneering Veteran. They both have ETBs, which is pretty nice. Duck, thank you for five more gifted subs. I kind of like this one. They have the same ETB effect, so it's fine. We have a bajillion two drops and a pretty high creature count, if I'm not mistaken, already. So maybe we could take a bull strength. We definitely don't need any more twos. We don't have fight spells for um, Basilisk. Goodness gracious, thank you guys so much. Gifting day nine a sub. We also have Pro Jared in the channel, if you guys don't know who that is. Some awesome magic content in that channel as well. Wow, so much hype. Thank you all for very, very much for being here. Goodness. Uh, normally I would take the monk, but maybe we take the Vengineer, Dungeoneer, because we just want ETBs for funsies. And my deck is already kind of a hot mess. White Dragon. That is an ETB effect. And a little top end. We can cut, like, Devoted Paladin. Ooh, Owlbear's another good ETB effect, so we definitely get rid of, like, Devoted Paladin. Probably Planar Ally, just because we want to do the thing. Unicorn is a great ETB that'll kill them over a turn. Oh my gosh, so much hype. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've had a raid of that size. Holy shoot. Jiminy Christmas. I mean, we're not running two potions of healing. I, I don't think we're splashing this either, but it's a really good card going very late. Take the uncommon for vault value. Take the rare for rare value. <laughs> Yeah, eighth, eighth pick Dragonfire is kind of insane. I did spec on the Evolving Wilds. Do we have any treasure generators? We could generate treasures through dungeons. Maybe it's worth splashing. Very cool of you guys to stop in. I really do appreciate it. If you end up enjoying the content, don't forget to hit the follow button. I'd love for you guys to come back, see some more magic. We are doing 12 hour streams basically all week. We have a lot of 12 hour streams coming up. 
We were supposed to do one today, but I had an internet shortage for like two hours. So. Woohoo! Thank you guys! Look at all the follows! Thank you. I'm nervous now. Okay. Time to scrub out with this hot mess. Please let me draw a teleportation circle or I will cry. Okay, goodbye. 3-3 three, three flyer that does not ETB. Get out. Nobody likes you. Goodbye, Paladin Shield. Goodbye, Duel. Okay, this is a deck. <laughs> it's not a great deck, but it's like fine. I mean, <laughs> it's it. Oh, wait, Paladin is an ETB. Get out, Golem. <laughs> okay, well, you know, like whatever. If we don't draw a teleportation circle, we'll be sad. We never saw the priest either, the 2 1 that draws ETB, which is a really spicy card for this. But this is still my first teleportation circle that I've found, and I'm very excited about it. So um, if we happen to scrub out 03 and never draw the thing, I'll cry. Like a small child who had their cookie taken away. Think positive. <laughs> okay, well. So we, I think we go pack leader first. Oh, I can't. Oops. I should have done that the other way around, but that's fine. Um, hmm. This one gets plus two, plus O. Oh, this is fine. We ended up drawing the other forest anyway. <clears throat> this could be a flash plus one, plus O. Oh, if it's a flash paladin shield, it's going to feel real bad, right? But most likely it's not. I think I'm okay with this. Paladin Shield is a lot less likely, I think, to see see some good play. And their deck is going to be far more aggressive than ours. So I just kind of want to hang on for dear life at this point. Which, again, is another reason I think we cast the, the Gargoyle instead. We're going to get the long game with our Owl Bears and card advantage. This is a fine card. Helps us with the Wolf. Next turn, we might wolf and hold open you hear something on the watch. There was no stick there, which is a little interesting. I kind of assumed there'd be something. All right, so we're going to go here and then just auto pass so there's no stick. And then we will hopefully get some Trixie traps here. And then into this thing, which is fine. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I think it's okay. Again, I think we win the long game. These are great blocks. They do have trample, so we do need to keep that in mind. We can thin the deck a little bit next turn. A sub for teleportation circle played. Oh my goodness, what a bounty. Hasty bits. Okay, so that thing is trampling, which is annoying. Do I want to attack? Um, I will reset Cardboard Live. I don't have the untapped one. I have Cardboard Live right now, but I'll reset it. In the deck.
There's another update, that's why. Updating it now, hun. Sorry about that. Um, hmm. I kind of like waiting again, to be honest. I could have attacked to try to, like, hit a land and just hold this open, plus whatever I draw. I think this is fine. Okay, see so what they what they take on this. I'm not happy about it. This trample is a pro this haste and trample is a huge problem. So we're gonna do five damage. Um if I block with something, I can't actually trigger the life gain mechanic next turn. But I think I might be okay with that. Especially with the hasty stuff. You can with the bard? I don't think so. It's only plus two plus two. So I think I just want to gain life. We're one land short of being able to do it with the pack leader, so we just have to hope they don't draw a creature for a turn or two. This is a nice combination. The trample's actually quite scary. We need, uh, like, an owl bear, um, which we do have a few of, would be pretty nice. It sucks, but I think this is a fine trade for us, and with the trample, we have to take it. That's brutal. Every single shit two-drop is just golden. Okay, 1-1 one, one Goblin. How do I get out of this, guys? Teleportation Circle would not do it at this point. Do we have a, a Minimus Containment? Is this thing done updating? Okay, it's finishing, hang on. That indeed would have been pretty good. So we would have had a couple extra life. Oh, that's so good. These beats are are brutal. I'm I'm having trouble. You got it, friend. Okay, so this does not have trample. So I think we need to go like this. They have no cards in hand, right? I can give them this for free too, but then we probably just die if they top deck any creature. Five trample damage? It's only four, right? So we go to one, and it leaves us with a blocker for whatever they top deck, ideally. Okay, it's a start, baby, it's a start. We gotta just brick for me like two turns, please. Just, that's it, that's all I ask is just two turns. Um, Is one life going to help me at this point? I mean, plus one, plus one, it, um... Oh, I should have gained a life because we're gonna teleportation circle it. Oh no, no, they top decked a flyer, no. No. Why? Punt? Well, if we draw another ETB, that's better, right? Having the counter on that for the trampler purposes is better. So like, yeah, if we don't, if we don't draw ETB, then it's kind of sad, but dang it. Stupid top deck. Well, go to mull this. <laughs> Shh. 
sure. Duck, thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Sack deck? No. I've never seen one of those. I'm surprised they didn't try to kill the innkeeper, to be honest. They're getting a lot of card draw, though, that's for sure. Holy smokes, friend. It's just a game. Calm down. I promise. It's just a game. Joke's on you. I don't have anything worth stealing. <laughs> I'm tempted to kill their sack outlet, which also gets good value off treasures. No blocks. And then I think we just owl bear. I mean, it sucks to use the last mana, but I mean, we get to draw, which will be good. There's another sack outlet, of course. All right, so we've already seen three sack outlets, which is a tad bit on the sad side. All right, well, I'm gonna attack with this owl bear, then we're gonna see what happens. And we're gonna play another owl bear. If they steal one, we're gaining a bunch of life. So like taking the beat from our own creature and then having it sacked is still not that bad. It's not that devastating because you know, we're gonna gain life at a pretty good rate. Unicorn, let's go! I don't see a stick here, so I feel pretty comfortable to bull strength on this owl bear too. If they try to double block in some way, I think we just, we just do the thing. We just Julie it. I see no stick. I'm happy here. Are you happy here? Yes. Take that, you stupid, dirty sack deck. Nobody likes you. Get out. We were definitely glad to have Semulan join the team this turn. This, this, okay, wait. <laughs> Can we keep this? <laughs> I do get a sub if I keep this and play tele- as long as I'm not dead by turn four, we win, right? I get a sub if I play- <laughs> if I play a teleportation circle. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. That feels like a win. <laughs> Plus, I'm a streamer. Streamer luck, like, it's probably fine. Just draw all green cards, why don't you? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but I have to play Teleportation Circle next turn anyway. All right. <laughs> all right, nothing. <laughs> Let's go. Can we draw not green cards or green land, which is not technically a green card? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Duck, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna gain some life. We're gonna teleportation circle it. It's gonna be grand. I guess we could have played the innkeeper first and did some more stuff. Yeah, I definitely should have done that. Thank you, Duck. I appreciate the sub. Okay, you get some free cards. Ew, 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 fireball. Gross. No. <laughs> Why? Fireball's like the 
worst thing that could happen there. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 we're, we're good now, right? So this makes, I haven't played a land yet. Okay, cool. So we can make a, make a thing, make a treasure. We're gonna ranger and then we're gonna teleportation circle the ranger. Let's go, let's go, come on. We got this piece of cake. Yes, this is all I want in all of the world. Oh my gosh. They're gonna, they hovering over my, my teleportation circle now. <laughs> all right, come on, owlbear. Let's go, baby. Definitely double blocking this because we don't want them getting more stuff. I'm also very glad that the dragon is gone. I'm going to ETB the innkeeper so that way we can get a secondary green source for our two owl bears that we could possibly draw off the top. Right? There's like a pretty high chance that we draw an owl bear. And we're just at a bajillion life now, which is fantastic. I finally got a teleportation draft. I'm so excited. We can end this format happy now. All is right with the world. Okay, so we can attack and then flicker the paladin to untap it for Bloxies if we want. Keeps the, the bugbear back. We still gain the life. We don't get the treasure, but we don't really need it. We got a secondary green source. We have three mana for whatever we draw off the owlbear if and when we ever draw one. Aha, you don't kill enchantments. Nah, 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 nah. You know, what is dealt damage? You know, I am... Or, well, I can't... Ha I don't have good attacks anymore, right? We just trade for the bugbear. So they could venture once. I was gonna say, we don't have great blocks on the way back, but like, I'm also not in any danger of losing here. You would block, but you're also a bad magic player. So once we block, if we top deck nothing, then they've got kind of free reign to attack us with the bugbear, right? Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do it because we drew another creature. But I think if we block the previous turn and brick a turn or two, we could easily lose that game. Whereas it gives us a good flicker. It keeps back five damage by having that four, four, and we're getting to flicker and gain a bunch of life back anyway. We gain a little less, but we get an extra treasure, um, which I'm happy with because we do have, like I said, two bugbears. Ooh. Okay, they are definitely drawing better than we are, but that's okay. That is that is acceptable. Again, no blocks because I again don't want to be in a weird situation. Need to hit hit an owl bear or a third innkeeper. That is also acceptable.
mean, I don't like it. We have to draw something that isn't land eventually, right? We're not also attacking with that thing anytime soon. Thank you. Woo! Yes, let's go. Let's go. Put a bajillion triggers on the stack. I would very much like to scry. Thank you. No, oh, go away, land. Shoo. No attacks. End the turn. Venture into the dungeon. I hope you get super annoyed and leave the game. Let's go. Scoop them up, Buttercup. You're done. You're freaking done. <laughs> it's owl bear time. <laughs> yes. Love it. Free to play account doing some stuff. A force can see. Hey, we were going to kill them now. Like we had enough draw and power on board so we could start pressuring and they were at 14. We were doing our thing. Find someone who looks at you the way nerd girl looks at teleportation circle. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> it brings me much joy. Hmm. Against black. So so they've got cleric class, they've got wizard class, they've got a bunch of nonsense. I'm like tempted to wait on this. Ninjari, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Emma, welcome to the channel, hun. Thank you so much for coming in. How are you doing? Guys, can we get a streamer shout out, please? Go show some love. Emma does some pretty awesome magic content, does a lot on magic Twitter. Huh, okay, so if we go here, is this enter the battlefield? Okay, I kind of dig it. And then we hold open the you hear something on the watch if they suit it up. And we ramp out a bunch, which is pretty great. I dig this. If they suit it up, we're okay. And then we just owl bear. They could have plus one, plus one. So I think what I'll do, just in case, I'm not gonna pass blocking first. Just in case they have plus one, plus one, because I'm willing to then uh, use the hound, right? So we, we definitely wanna do this first. I don't want this to live, great. We have card advantage by a lot. We're looking pretty spiffy here. Uh, we're going to owl bear and use the Evolving Wilds. I guess I could have thinned the deck first, but it doesn't really matter. How, how on earth do you pull three innkeepers? The funny thing is, we have three innkeepers and zero life gain payoffs. We have no ropers, we've got no uh, pegasus. Which makes no sense. Or unicorn, whatever it is. They're, okay, that's pretty spiffy. They're gonna kill my owl bear now, which is, you know, unfortunate, but fine. Okay. Do 
Do I wait on dragon because I'm real greedy? I think the answer is yes. This is the most damage on board. We'll tap down whatever they play with dragon and just go ham. That thing's big. They suited up with torch. It's not great. It's fine. And as soon as we find a teleportation circle, we are happy. Happy as can be. It's true. I do mix up unicorn and pegasus all the time. You are not incorrect. Okay, so we have enough for innkeeper and dragon. Great. All right, teleportation circle, where are you at, friend? Big, uh, big thank you to those of you guys who came in from the raid as well. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm still kind of, kind of blown away and, and really excited to see you guys. Tad bit unfortunate there. They have some, some power which is a little, little sad. So we do need something. We've flooded out a little bit here. We found it, we found it. I am the winner. I dig that too. No attacks. We get an extra wolf or an extra venture. I kind of like the wolf, I guess, for now. And then we don't block and we just suit up the armor, right? Because we're going to get more than enough life gain here. We just suit up armor on, like, Vengeneer and then just produce... A racing situation, which is great with teleportation circle and innkeepers and things that make double ETB triggers. They're going to venture each turn, but so am I. saddest of sad pandas in all of sad panda land my heart it's broken i'm going to cry wonder they've had so much removal that like I don't know if I should rush her back. I think I want to press her back. I think I'm okay with this. It's really just cleric class and, and whatever class, but like there, there's so little benefit to having this on the board. I'm fine with keeping it uh, wizard class and I'm really sad about my trigger though. 
very sad. Okay, that thing has double strike. You got it. Where are my owl bears at? We need we need some racing action here. If they move, they could use the rest of their turn to move over the torch to the gloom stalker, which will prevent me from attacking with the dungeoneer. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so we trade Wolf for Gloomstalker if they choose. Or not. That also works. And then we go back over here. Oh! We Hold on to your butts. Maybe I should have suited up the Maybe I should have suited this up to block this idiot. That's annoying. Hmm. Okay, nothing died. They have blockers forever though, which is a bit of a problem. We might have just got there. With a pretty spicy top deck. After they killed my teleportation circle. <laughs> Sweet revenge. All right. Definitely should have played a forest first. <laughs> We're going to draw a wolf right now, and I'm going to cry. I was, I was uh, innkeeper is good, but I also don't want them getting extra treasures if I can avoid it. Okay, okay. Interesting. I had him in a sack deck and I actually was able to use his triggered ability on the adventure to sack a creature with a steel spell. So I was able to use that as a sack outlet. It was pretty spicy. Definitely a lot of fun. Nice. So why didn't they, um, do the thing here. I think they didn't cast it because they're planning on dragon firing it. Ooh. Okay, well that's, you know, slightly worse. But, you know, not by a lot. If you're gonna power word kill my three drop, I guess I'm happy about that. They found their land drop. Treasures, you got it. They discarded target opponent and discards two. That's kind of interesting. I think I would have always preferred that at this point in the game, but 
That is fine by me if they don't want to let me, they want to let me do that. Okay, I like this, just fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm deciding to play this now to just flip the innkeeper and make another treasure. Because we are stuck on four here a little bit, so some extra treasure generation would be kind of nice. Okay. Now we've got this, which I think they might regret using this dragon fire, but that's okay. Nerd girl, you got this. Thank you, hun. All right, you got a sack outlet. Not happy about it, but... Discard bull strength? Or no, I just take the damage, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. I always forget. Unless they discard a card. Decline. You got it. Give me them free wolves. Give me them free wolves. Kind of hoping for another innkeeper. I'd like the treasure. I'd like the double life gain, triple life gain per turn. The thing about the sack deck is you you it's still a one for one when they steal your thing and sacrifice it, but it's you know pretty minor um, as far as like the value that they're getting um, with the damage. But you you know they aggro you out so quickly that it, that it becomes a problem. So I'm hoping that we can you know out life gain them a bit. sad they can crack that they can also do this stuff which is annoying i feel like as soon as we draw an owl bear we're in pretty good shape they'd have to sack it right away but i mean if that's card advantage for us but if they don't sack it right away then that's just even more card advantage which i love i love card advantage So the next thing is each player loses two life unless they sacrifice a creature, artifact, or land. Okay, well, I guess I'm okay to sacrifice a land. So we'll just do this. I'm going to attack for two instead of three, but then flicker the cleric and untap it to gain two life and have good blockers. Holding open, removal, and strength.
I know we have quite a few new viewers in the channel, guys. If you are enjoying the content, don't forget to hit the follow button. Come back and see us for more magic. We'll be streaming 12 hours tomorrow. Not all magic, only eight hours of magic because, you know, sanity. But definitely come back and see us. I would really appreciate it, guys. All right, you got it. Your thing. No more life gain for me. Oh, that's unfortunate that they hit that. Duck, thank you, thank you. Um, I think I'm willing to trade this Gloom Stalker because I really want to hold this for either this or the, um, 4-4, four, four, right? Like, this is a bit of a problem. It's going to be tough for us to deal with. And I think this is an okay trade. We still got good blocks on the Goblin. We've got good blocks on everything still. We need to draw some stuff, though. Duck, thank you so much. Five gifted subs, guys. That's a huge deal. Very much appreciated. Untap. This is, like, the, the worst value for it, is, like, you untap the creature you got to send with, which is pretty fantastic. Uh-oh, Hammy. Hammy's being pouty. Thank you for showing me that land. I do appreciate you. Shut the door. Simply disturbing. Thank you so much. Five gifted subs. Get rid of a land. We have enough to cast just about anything I want. Be right back. Yeah, he's getting feisty. Probably pouting at somebody upstairs. Create a 4-4 legendary. You got it, friend. Uber nerd! Thank you very much. Guys, can we get a streamer shout out for Uber nerd? Make sure you guys go show some love, some awesome magic, or I'm sorry, not magic content, some awesome community content over there. Go show some love. I'd really appreciate it. Oh, come on. That's just not cool. We've hit a couple, one too many lands here in the last little bit, but I feel like our draw, draws are strong. We just gotta get out of this somehow. Thank you, we got a gifted sub. Ragnarok, thank you, thank you. Appreciate the gifted sub. Druid, 2,500 bits for the hype train. Second hype train. This is interesting. I wonder what they top decked. Hype train. If it's a manticore, I'll be a little sad. Hmm. I, maybe I should have double blocked that actually. I knew that was gonna happen, but I thought there might be some other sort of trick too. I could just kill that and leave this. It gets rid of their only sack outlet as well, so it's kind of a two for one for me, which means if they if they get the owl bear or something, it's like pretty minimal value. Next turn, we can double block here. That's yeah, not a great top deck, but it's still an annoying top deck. 
great. Innkeeper is fine. Thank you. That helps a fair amount. We're getting a fair amount of value here now. We're gaining an extra life per turn. We get to attack for two and still have a two, three blocker available. Okay, so two blockers. Um, I think I need to kill this. I don't like it though. But then I don't wanna get rid of the unicorn. Thank you! Jiminy Christmas, thank you! See what we draw. Land. Um. Do I want to. I think I want to flicker the owl bear because we're probably going to block with it. Gaining two life, I think, is enough to, like. Stem the bleeding a bit here. This is pretty good. <clears throat> We're happy here. I mean, maybe I'm okay to take it now. We're going to be gaining two life a turn, at least, right? With the flicker plus, you know, playing, playing a thing. We're pretty happy. I actually think I tap down the token so I can attack with the owl bear and then flicker the owl bear for maximum value here. That has trample, friend. They do have to chump it, but I recommend chumping it with the yeah, something like that. All right, you take no damage. And then we flicker the owl. Uh, well, we're going to cast this. Flicker the owl bear. I could flicker the dragon too, but I'm really greedy. Plus, I really like drawing cards. Flickering dragon's pretty spicy though. How is Selesnya in this format? Um, it's it's okay. It's a little hard for me to get together. Like I've tried to do some of the life gain decks, but there's just not enough pieces, not enough like consistent triggers. Most of them are uncommon. So we were in a very open lane. We got all the uncommons, but then didn't find any of the payoffs, which is a little rough, but yeah. Um, we're on the draw. We have a teleportation circle. So I think we just keep this. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Happy with it. Okay. So it sucks that we have to evolving wilds here to thin the deck. The payoffs are common. Yeah, like the unicorn is a common, uh, Roper's uncommon. Okay, so I have to play Cleric here because I really need Warhound to be able to get a land and it will next turn if they play a land and we're gonna need it. Wow, we just got Tron, rude. Okay, cool. So we get to, boom, ramp it up, play our land. This is fantastic. Into teleportation circle next turn. Let's go. We can do it. Come on, baby. Show me a teleportation circle. You want to suit up? I will happily trade this hound for that because this has some longer... Uh, like draw consequences that we don't want to see. Plus, like having to spend three mana to suit this up and venture a bunch is pretty nice for us. I'm okay 
right, like I could have potioned of healing and like held something open, but we didn't have anything to hold open, so it didn't seem particularly relevant. So I think I'm just gonna hit them for one gain two and then start dropping a bunch of stuff, preferably an owl bear next turn. So our opponent cries themselves to sleep. Stormbringer, thank you so much for the prime sub. Very, pre very much appreciate the support. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. All warm and tingly inside. How are your jellies? They're feeling good. My jellies are happy right now. If they want to suit up, attack, tap Owl Bear for all of their mana to venture once and hit me for two, I am fine with this. That is A-OK -okay by me. I don't actually want to risk the owlbear's life here. I don't think it's worth it. I think I would much rather hold open. I think I'd much rather hold this open. And if they manage to kill the owl bear or do something to it here, like lock it down with a minimus containment, then we drop the healing potion, have the same mechanic on board, and we are happy as can be. That card's freaking annoying. So we definitely need to hold both of these open next turn, I think. Which we do have enough mana to play a three drop and that, so I'm pretty happy. Well, that's pretty nice, but I think I'm gonna hold this open. Uh, it was pack one, pick two. Someone passed us the teleportation circle. I'm a little concerned if they have like a counter spell or something because they're gonna move over this to their dragon, meaning that like we have to spend two of these they have one card in hand. What could it be that would stop us? A counterspell or a hexproof card? Oh, there's a stick. Oh, it could be a tap, though. That's why. The tap is the stick. Did you miss a circle? Well, you gifted five subs, so I feel like that's more than enough. I feel like you you preemptively did it. This is like a really beautiful ETB trigger here too. Like the world is just beautiful. Like all is, is bright and happy and shiny. should start doing the ranger next turn so that way we can paladin and send and that will be quite beautiful i'm bad at games welcome back i 
I think they're gonna send something to its death. So they could draw a card. They have no cards. This feels fine to me. Sure. Thank you, thank you. I got dinner. Nice. Pizza! I didn't even know we were having pizza night. Like, they can eat... Well, maybe they can eat that. I don't want this to die. Okay, maybe we just attack with the owlbear. Show dinner. It's just pizza. Papa Murphy's. Uh, do I want to go wider or draw more? I feel like I want to go wider at this point. We have cards in our hand. Plus, like, we do need to be a little bit careful about, like, um... Venture? I mean, drawing is just better than venturing, so there's no reason to venture. Venture is great if you can, like, redo it, but I think our other ATBs are just better. A 2-2 two -two or a draw card, definitely better than any one venture. That would take a lot of turns. It doesn't seem necessary. My favorite cart, my favorite card, um, it's usually, I mean, I don't really have one because I'm mostly a limited player, so I have like one of every set. What a weird charmed sleep target. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? You can, I can't flicker it, so like, it definitely helps their cause. And now I'm going to flicker the, the dragon end of turn to tap down their tapper, which will be pretty great. Ooh, they didn't do it. They didn't tap something down. Interesting. Flicker it to send a message? I don't know about that. I'm actually really hungry, so sorry, YouTube. This is probably the first time uh, you guys have ever seen me eat. Normally, I don't record for YouTube and eat, but man, am I starving. That has trample. I'm happy if you want to do that, though. There goes the theory that I'm an android. Fair. I mean, I'll definitely take a two for one here. All right, and then we flicker white dragon, tapping down their half elf so they can't tap anything of ours, right? Love you on magic mics. Thanks, hun. 
Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out the stream. Anyone who interacts with electronics understands the fork. Thank you. Holy shit. Every single time I eat pizza on stream, people are like, oh, you're a monster. I'm like, dude, my keyboard's like $250. I'm not going to touch a pizza. You crazy? You will never understand. Chips with chopsticks? Smart, smart person. You're brilliant. I mean, I think they're dead, but I kind of want to kill this anyway. I do not eat pizza with a fork normally. That is, that is not a thing that happens. Okay, let's draw, see what happens. They block the two biggest things. Oh, that's nice. Go here. I don't know, I'm not doing the math, I'm too lazy. Yes! Woo! You guys, this is my very first teleportation circle. I've been wanting it since like before the set officially came out. And it is not disappointing. And we're drawing it a bunch, which is amazing. You don't get to see like a lot of rares very often. And sometimes you get one, you get really excited about it and then you just never see the dang thing. Like um, I've drafted Kingpin once, never saw it. So this is a nice change of pace. I'm pretty excited. We've played it almost every game and got so much value. It's tasty. I'm sorry you're missing out. Yeah, I don't want that thing getting any bigger. Canadian bacon and pineapple is like overrated. I think the, the, you get a little bit more zip from the, um, the pepperoni, right? My first nat 20 of like the month. Aggressive. We could have played this and like this or something, but like, I think I just want to keep the pressure high. Have a good night, Harambe. We'll be doing another 12 hour stream tomorrow, so I'm sure I will be here. A dragon turtle, that's just mean. All right, well, we just run this back.
responding with bull strength. I could have, but I also liked the two for one and just get in more damage. I think I'm okay with that. 12 hours, how's that on you? Fine, we do it quite often. So if they eat one of these, they could eat this and take, oh, so they have to trade, which is great. Okay, cool, you just go to one. They have to trade. Pretty straightforward game. Our opponent got stuck on three for a turn. All right, we need to hit a land here. Disco Bisco, welcome to the channel. Three innkeepers. We have not dropped hardly any innkeepers on two. Very few. Okay, well, we're gonna get a land with our Hound, which is gonna actually help us a lot. Speed Boots actually kind of messed us up in the last one. So this is not ideal. Kill the flyer. Missing two land drops here, guys. Not ideal. One more land. Let's go, baby. We can do this. If they spend all their me um, um, life to suit up the torch, it's not actually the worst for us. Limited, definitely the best format. Hey, welcome, welcome. Yes, Smith. Glad you can make it into the channel. Land me, baby, land me. Let's go, come on, land. Land me, let's go. Hell yeah. Some counter aggression. I am fine with this. Is there a cheaper format than limited? I mean, you can be a free to play constructed player pretty easily as long as you get your daily wins and all that stuff. So any draw is good, right? If not, if it's like a whiff, it's like an owl bear, which is great. If it's not a whiff, we just drag in, which is great. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so they want to race, which is kind of interesting. They could definitely kill us with these flyers with any sort of equipment, right? So a land is best draw. We're going to hit the one that's got the torch on it because that's going to be the hardest to uh, undo. And I'm going to attack with just these two. Keep myself available for one, uh, one blocker if they like did something crazy. Oops. 
Yep, boss music died. If they suit up, that's okay. Drain a life. So, ugh, five. If they play a blocker, four, five, six, seven. Go to four. So we're not dead if we don't block. If they don't play a block or if they don't play a thing, we have them. If we draw a removal spell, we have them. Let's go this way, see what we draw first. Now if they draw something to, to answer our... Oh, come on, that was out of order. Okay. So now we do have to chump and we have to hope they don't have an answer. They can also pump the, the damn Pegasus in any way and we lose. So we're in a tough spot. If they have any removal, we're dead. If they have any sort of pump, we're dead. So maybe that's a reason we blocked the previous turn knowing that they don't have it so we could take the hit this turn. How do I get out of this? No, they're hovering over all their cards. They're trying to figure out how to split their equipment so that way I take maximum damage. They should keep the plus one plus one on the three four so that way like I have to chump it. Uh, and then they move the boots over, so I take three for maximum damage. Ooh. Okay. Venture, draw a card. So I have to chump. No, uh, no choice about it. I don't think we have any outs. Definitely not it. We can draw this and try to go for strength. It, we can't even, they can't even block badly. All right, we got we got boss number two here. Hopefully we don't don't drop it at the finish line. Oops, a little loud there. Sorry. Um. All right. Let's see. It was close game. Close game. Like we're we're stabilizing on the draw. I like it with a little bit of ramp. So we go turn two innkeeper turn three loyal hound play it before uh before we play our land so that way we can turn four the ranger and then draw our teleportation circle which we know is gonna happen right you guys know it i know it their deck is gonna be good though right red white champion are they gonna miss a land drop though
They did miss a land drop. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll go here. There it is. Okay. No blocks. We get to gain all of our life back. Pretty spicy. Next turn, we can just hold open. You hear something on the watch and be pretty happy about it. Missing the boss theme. I turned it off because we listened to it twice. I didn't want to overplay it. I could double block it. Doesn't feel the worst. Actually. And then they're gonna spend all their mana and suit it up on the rust monster. But the thing is, is neither of these can attack through the rust monster anyway. It's a one for one. It's not a good trade, but it's a fine trade. Okay. I wonder if they try to sack the mace to kill my shepherd. I don't think they do, but we're going to find out. There is a stick here, but the stick is the sack a thing, which is fine. Uh, we save Cleric for Minimus Containment. Um, sounds about right. That card's annoying. To be sure. I like that. We have a lot more life than they do. As long as they don't find a Pegasus, right? Pegasus is the best with this Wild Mage. Oh my gosh, that is the best combo. That is such a pain. Which one do you want to kill? Which one do you want to kill? Big one, small one, some as big as your head. This is our last game, win or lose, guys. We are 6-2. I think this is worth saving. I dig this.
No blocks. All right, we need owl bears and circles. Show me some love, please, and thank you. They just good gamed me, which has me worried. I don't really care about, they could sack the mace and eat my shepherd, which I don't really want to happen. All right, owl bears, where are you at? Come on, that's enough now. We're gonna lose this. It's gonna feel real bad. They caught up by casting two rares, essentially. They got a three for one on the Meteor Swarm, which sucked. Pretty sad about it. We're down to two cards. Another one of those, huh? Unfortunate. That was a good draw. That was a fantastic draw. Three, four, five, six. You get to draw again. Gain, gain more life. Ooh, come on, baby. Show me some love. All right. It's gonna be dangerous for them to attack us, right? They can suit up the paladin, so I can't attack with the dragon. Or, but then I can attack with the dragon. They can suit up the planar ally. Which still leaves them slightly in a rough spot. Okay.
This turns into a 5-3. That's interesting. So we can attack with both. Let's see. We'll see how this goes. They're attacking? They're dead, right? Well, uh, no. They weren't dead. They had three blockers, right? This has trample, but they can block this. Yeah. They could also have five damage to target attacking creature. Like... There's some possibilities here. They can also... Oh, that's first strike. Yeah, they can first strike down my trampler as well. Um, in that way. So the trample's no good. I feel like if we draw Circle of Healing, we're going to want to use it on the White Dragon anyway. Okay, now that they're using all of their mana, that's better. I'm going to gain the life. We're not going to want to use this anyway. They're dead. They are now that they've attacked in the air, yes. But again, guys, they had when you were saying this, they had open mana and a card in hand. And there is a two two mana spell that kills our dragon, right? At no point did we have guaranteed lethal until they tapped out all their mana and removed their flyer. That's this one. All right, seven win Circle of Teleportation deck. As always, guys, I will be putting those in the Discord. I've been forgetting a couple of times lately, but if you guys ever want to see seven win decks of previous formats that rotate back in, you guys can scroll through this Discord channel and see what works for me, what cards I've been getting a lot of seven wins with, what colors I tend to go into. That's always an option. I'd like to give a special thank you to those of you who have signed up for our Patreon. I couldn't make this content without you. Also to Cool Stuff Inc. and KMC Sleeves for supporting the channel as well. Definitely check them out and use our discount codes to support the channel.